So here's a new Weebill S right here. Really cool looking gimbal stabilizer. And hi, so who are you? So I'm Shongda, I'm one of the Xi'an ambassadors and this is the new Weibo S. It's basically the bottom section is the same as like the original Weibo Lab, but on top here is everything has been changed. So uh, on top here has been uh, added new motors. This is 300 times stronger. And also uh, the section of the arm has been extended so you can now use much bigger lenses on here. So it's 300% stronger yeah, than uh, the original solution. lab. Just in here and here and there, it's 300% yeah. stronger. Yeah. What does it mean to for a camera like this? Does it change anything for this? So uh, basically uh, it can also get more stable shots even if the camera is unbalanced. So right now I have like a lens, if I have like, uh, like it's now a zoom lens. So if I zoom out and extend it, that it still would be able to like uh, hold the balance or still be very stable. Is it very important to balance it correctly or it doesn't matter anymore um, in the beginning? To have like the full extent of the full battery life, uh, having it perfectly balanced is of course better, but still uh, it doesn't need to be like 100% perfect right now and it still be able to do, get like really stable shots. So, so basically it will use more power to just remain stable? Yeah. But remain stable as good as if it was good, perfectly balanced. Yeah. Or there might be a, like a, something lacking also. No, it's not, no, it's not lacking. Just power. Yeah, just power. All right. So right now, also inside of the or inside of the gimbal, there's an auto tune setting. So the auto tune uh, before you have like the menu setting of the motors choosing the level. So you have like low, medium, high. But now there's an auto tune. The auto tune will uh, basically set like the PID. So the uh, old PID system, they, it will basically make like a proper uh, adjustments for the motor, so it will be even more stable after you did the auto tune. Do any of these buttons look different, or is it similar no, to the Weibo all, Lab? No, all these buttons are the same. But uh, the menu inside is just a few things different. Auto tune is new. Yeah, auto tune. We also have the advanced settings, so we can do like. Uh, change the control rate of the joystick and also the follow rate. So now you don't have to change that in the phone app, you can directly change that in the gimbal itself. So you can do uh, uh, ISO... Uh, so, so the control rate is basically the speed of the joystick and the follow rate is the speed how, how it follows your movements. Nice. And it's also, if you want to do fast movements, there's a faster... Yeah, there's a go mode. Response. It's faster response now? Also. Uh, actually, it's, it's much faster uh, just directly without even the sports mode. It already does like a really fast uh, movement. Then we also... So we also have under here... Uh, basically on the bottom here we have a small box which is the new image transmission this is now a separate box instead of being uh, standard nice. directly uh, inside of it so you take the HDMI from any camera yeah and you transmit it wirelessly at 1080p to, yeah, 30, to, right? to the phone or uh, we also have like a, a, a receiver coming up so you can also use with a monitor when you move the camera a little bit so. So there is a, a little bit of lag. That's because of the Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. Wi-Fi technology uh, as all, as always, uh, there will always will be a slight lag. But you can also use a receiver with no lag, right? You, you have the receiver coming out where you can use um, a monitor. Yeah, it's not the phone, but it's going to be a monitor, right? With a monitor, it will be better with that. Yeah. Then it's using, a, is it the 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz? Uh, some kind of spectrum. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, 2.5 gigahertz. Or so. And so this is, this is uh, useful for so this, one thing that I'm uh, my, this my box is also useful for uh, without the gimbal. You can also use on your shoulder rake or on just on your camera directly. So it's not a must. Uh, so it's a box that you can add, but you can also use it normally. My dream is to use this box uh, and the receiver on a, a live streamer like Live View or Terra Deck to live stream on the YouTube uh, okay. directly from this feed okay. while I'm recording here. So. Not necessarily have it here, but uh, it could potentially also go to like something like that. Yeah, so you, you have, have like a receiver side. on. So you, In so you have, uh, you can uh, connect up to like three devices. 
So it should be also to do like uh, one to the receiver and one to a phone. Here we are in a busy trade show where there's always a lot of interference. Yeah, How's the interference right now? It's just perfect? Uh, still, still okay actually. So we so, haven't had like a loss of signal. Nice. That's really cool. So, uh, so uh, there's also a USB. What does it do, this USB when you go on this? So uh, basically the USB is just for the control. So we also have like a USB cable to go in here and also the USB going uh, into the camera. So it's also for the control of the um, exposure and also uh, some of the focus. So that would do it over the Wi-Fi on the phone, you mean? Yeah. All right. So but should. otherwise it does it already. You can control it with these yeah. systems here. But is that is that going through that receiver or when you do ISO change or um, right now it's seems to have override it. Right. So <coughs> all right. But you can do like if it's directly like on this one. Yeah. So when it's directly on this one, it's connecting. Uh, there's a USB going here. Yeah. And that one is going through the arm. So this one here. you can directly change the exposure. Nice. And you can also on. start recording oh, it's directly it's down on, here. It's on auto. Yeah. Change it to manual. Okay, so now we can change the exposure. And now also the focus works. So the you can pull focus. Yeah, you can pull focus without the servo on it. That's only on the list of compatible cameras, yeah. these things, right? Yeah, so Nikon is uh, compatible and Canon is compatible. Sony, not yet. Panasonic? Um, All right. Cool. Uh, so, so right now the motors are just much much stronger. Uh, I can put like the JH5 with the speed booster and the Sigma 18 to 35 on here without any issue. Uh, only thing, if you are going to add the servo, you might you need to remove the EVF or the the iCop. But that's the only uh, thing with that. But that is like a really extreme setup that lens. And the G Master 2470, these, all these yeah. supposed to be supported. Yeah. All right, really nice. So I, I thought that the Webull Lab was already better than the Ronin SC, but this is like an even step yeah. higher. It's the best. Yeah, best in the world. They listened to all the customers and they really stepped up the game and give what people asked for, basically.